Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sosa and I make videos about engineering, computer science, and all things that fall in between. And today we're gonna to be talking about why you should major in computer science. So let's just jump into the video. So obviously you should only major in computer science if this is something that you really want to do. But I get a lot of questions from students asking me how to know if computer science is the right thing for you. And a lot of students actually end up telling me that they're scared to commit to computer science because of all the math involved. And that's a whole nother video that I'll be possibly making to just like quickly touch on it though. I totally get it. Math isn't everyone's strong suit. It definitely, definitely is not mine. I really had to bust my butt when I was majoring in computer science to make sure that I wouldn't fall behind on the foundational math that is needed for my courses. And I can do, like I said, I can do a more in-depth video about my struggles when it came to math and computer science, but that's for a whole nother video. <laughs> please, 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 don't let math discourage you from pursuing computer science if you know that this is something that you really want to do. But anyway, <laughs> to get to the actual reason why you clicked on this video, here are some reasons why I chose to major in computer science and why these might be good reasons for you. So number one, almost everyone knows this, computer science has really high prospects when it comes to just job openings and has really high paying salaries starting out. And honestly, I think that that is like a really good reason to consider whether or not you want to major in something, especially if you're going into a lot of debt with a four or two year degree or whatever it may be. You want to make sure that you're getting your return on investment. Computer science has the second highest projected study salaries for all majors with engineering being number one with an average of over $67,000 in 2019, according to the National Association of Colleges and Employers. When I say that 67,000 number, you guys are probably like, wait, what? But I've always heard that people make six figures after college with a computer science degree. Like I've said in many other videos, that number varies a lot. And a lot of people who talk about their prospects are not necessarily the majority of people in their experiences. So it's really dependent on the location, the company, things like that, that really determines what your starting salary will be. You can have enough comfort in knowing that your starting salary is gonna be probably a lot lot higher than what other majors might be starting with. And according to code.org, there were nearly 500,000 computing jobs and fewer than 64,000 computer science graduates that year. So again, for me, part of my reasoning for wanting to be a computer science student was knowing that there was a little bit of stability in the fact that when I graduate, there are a lot of job prospects for software engineering and computer science students. And these jobs often and pay a lot. Even if they're not six figures, you're getting paid a lot more than most people are in all of the other majors. And so for me, that was definitely a big reason for wanting to continue with the major. So reason number two, computer science actually really changed the way that I think. With having a computer science background, it provides you with a lot of foundational knowledge for problem solving and critical thinking that helps serve as a really big advantage no matter what career you end up choosing. And so I feel like studying computer science really changed the way I look at things. Since CS is really geared and centered around making things efficient, whenever I look at a new problem that I have to solve, my brain like immediately starts thinking about all of the ways that I can make something or whatever I'm doing, how to make it work and how to make it as efficient as possible. And I think that these are really, really key skills to have in whatever you're doing. And reason number Number three kind of ties into number two. CS gives you options. You might think that when you study computer science, the only jobs that you might have open to you are programming, but that's not necessarily the case. Even within CS, there are so many things that you can do, whether it is software engineering, software development, but there's also product management and things that align more with working with people in the business aspects of things, but still being able to understand the technical stuff. The field of software engineering and computer science is so 
vast. And then when you put that on top of what you can apply computer science and programming knowledge to, your opportunities are really endless. Even if you don't know what you wanna do, CS is versatile enough to help you connect with other areas that you might be interested in. From health, to finance, to education, to business, to even arts. CS really sets you up with the skills that you need to give you a leg up in being able to contribute to other fields that you're interested in. And so that's just all to say that you can really apply computer science and programming to really anything you're interested in. Number four, CS allows you to be creative. I just love creating things. Studying CS has allowed me the ability to build almost any piece of software using just my laptop and Wi-Fi. I can build anything I want myself practically for free. And I'm just now realizing how powerful of a skill that can really be. Number five, CS allows for a lot of collaborative work as well as individual effort. Whenever people think of computer science, they a lot of the times think about like that lone hacker that is like trying to break into the mainframe and he's doing it all himself. A lot of times when you're faced with a difficult problem, you want to go to other people to help you solve it and get different perspectives of how to approach an issue. Computing in CS is a lot about being a part of a collaborative team that requires people with many different kinds of skills. But then there's also a lot of space and opportunity for being able to do your own individual work and to be able to give things your own flair and to be creative and use your imaginations and things like that. Number six, computer science is really challenging and I actually hate it sometimes. I hate I hated having to do problem sets. I hated struggling through the math. I hated going to office hours with absolutely no idea about how to approach an assignment that was given. And then having professors and TAs not give you an answer, but force you to think about it yourself. I hate when things aren't easy and I hate not getting things right right away. But that's part of the reason why I love it. I love the challenge. I love being able to find creative solutions to a given problem. I love, absolutely love, when my program finally ends up working after hours, days, weeks of debugging. I like having to work for it and wanting to work for it. Studying computer science can be so frustrating, but at a lot of points I really really love the rush. And my last point, number seven, the learning never really stops. So learning a lot of different programming languages can be a lot of fun and you'll find that it gets easier and easier because computer science concepts hold up regardless of the language. Your computer science curriculum might have some classes that are more geared towards Java and C++. My classes were more geared towards Python and C++. But you'll find that the most important emphasis is on the abstract concepts and a logical way of thinking. And once you realize that, that data structures and algorithms are like really important and like foundational knowledge for everything that we do in computer science, you'll be able to understand how you can start to apply those problems to the real world. Again, you really never stop learning when it comes to computer science and programming and software engineering. There's always a new framework to learn. There's always a new language to pick up. There's always something to build and that is something that I absolutely love about the major and about the career within uh, engineering. I really like that in the field that I'm in of DevOps it's constantly changing and so I never can really get bored <laughs> with anything that's going on because my day changes from day to day and I love that. I, I like having to be on my toes and to be able to continue to flex my, my learning muscles and being able to apply what I've learned to real world problems. I think if you are like me, constantly curious and loves learning, then computer science is 100% for you. So I hope you liked that video. Leave some comments down below if you have any tips or advice for students who are a little bit on the fence about whether or not to major in computer science. I say go for it. It's an amazing major. You learn so much and it's so rewarding. But again, that's up to you. Like this video if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.